So yeah, I am dealing with burnout and trying to just stop all the derailing of my life and goals and everything that I've accomplished this year. I don't want to get out of bed. I just want to lay in bed and just leads to, well, you didn't do it last time. What makes you think you're going to do it this time and blah, blah, blah. I am dealing with burnout and I thought I would just like sit and write out my thoughts and kind of relay them back to you in hopes that it helps with any of your guys' burnout issues. So I'm dealing with burnout, or at least the very start of it. I'm trying to kind of nip it in the bud. I feel like I've said this before, but it was kind of burnout in like certain areas of my life and trying to just stop all the derailing of my life and goals and everything that I've accomplished this year just because I'm tired and I just don't want to think anymore. I didn't even want to make this video today, but I promised myself that I would make at least four videos this month and I'm sticking to it because if I didn't, I would just keep disappointing myself. So, so I feel like if you are on the verge of burning out or already there, I think the definition or the true definition doesn't really matter because it's different for everyone. Some people when they burn out, they burn out hard and they just cannot do like daily things. Um, kind of goes hand in hand with depression, you would say, I might say. I've been in that spot before where I could not work could not do anything I just felt like life had not run its course for me but just it was getting close to that point and it had been like a while of feeling burnt out and feeling like life had taken me for a ride before I decided that my life needed to change because I just didn't really want to keep living the way that I was living since I don't want to go back to that level of burnout I have gotten better at realizing if I am getting back to that point or starting to and that I need to like make changes now. And for me, those thoughts are kind of like, I don't want to work anymore. I don't care about paying off my debt. <laughs> Let's just blow all this money that I have on stuff. I don't want to get out of bed. I just want to lay in bed and not even watch TV, don't watch YouTube videos anymore. And I normally love watching YouTube videos. Like it's been a part of my life since 2006, basically since YouTube started. <laughs> and it's been with me through the highs and the lows and the fact that I don't care about watching people's videos and gives me anxiety is like a big red flag. I guess my brain is just preserving itself and only letting out a certain amount of energy to like get through the day kind of thing. And it really doesn't help that I don't have my own space. I come home from work and I basically just stick to my bedroom. I do the exact same thing almost every night. But as of lately, it's just been me struggling to wake up, get myself to work, stay awake, get home and try not to go to bed so early so that I'm not waking up super early the next day and then just repeating the cycle of being super tired. It's not fun. I think for yourself you have to figure out what exactly is your definition of burnout whether that be the full definition of depression. I think it, burnout is defined differently for everyone. So is it work burnout, being creative burnout, adult responsibilities burnout? I think you got to figure that out and try and tackle it one thing at a time and try and figure out what causes it. So environment, is it a lack of boundaries because you're taking on too much? Is it possibly something like me where it's my ADHD and the only time I feel functional is when my medication is working but unfortunately that is mainly during when I'm working. So by the time it wears off, I actually don't have a lot of time to do anything on my time off that makes me feel productive. How to fix it. I'm not there at that point yet. I wish I was. I wish I had a cure for it. But I did see this YouTube short, I believe it popped up um, when I was scrolling one day and it's been stuck in my head ever since and I wish I saved it. I wish I saved it. I'm going to try and look for it. But basically she was saying that people think 
that rest and time off is what you need for burnout when really if you were to do that and then you jump back in to work or even a new job you still have these old habits that got you into that burnout feeling in the first place so so her advice was to actually not take extended rest um, where you're not doing anything and just laying on the couch and doing nothing which can be good for a little bit but it's more about learning how to set boundaries and cope with it instead of ignoring it because that's what just resting is you're just not acknowledging the habits that got you there in the first place. So for me personally, while I cannot change my environment where I live, knowing that that is a big factor, it's something that I am working on and just acknowledging that that is an issue kind of helps take the stress away because it's not so much of like, I'm the problem and neither is the people that I live with my family they're not the problem either it's like my own past actions like being in debt and not having money to buy my own place you know that kind of thing it's making me just think it is what it is I cannot change it it does make me feel sad of course and not having my own place where I can kind of recoup like I don't have the luxury to just start doing anything in the kitchen if I wanted to try and bake a cake or decorate it which is something that I really want to do I have to plan the very little time off I have from work and see if it corresponds with the other people in my family not being in the kitchen at the same time because it's not a very big kitchen as it so happens their time off is also during my time off or someone is always in the living room watching tv and after being a full day in the office of dealing with anxious people and being a introvert it's extremely draining and like the very last thing i want to do is every day having to socialize with someone and like never really having time to decompress which is why a lot of the time after work i will sit in my car outside my place and just stare off into space in silence with ringing in my ears because <laughs> driving home doesn't count because you're thinking about, you know, not crashing the car. I don't know where I was going with that point. So I've been talking about it, but I've been trying to reduce my hours at the office. It's just been some confusion and people quitting that has left my schedule up in the air. But starting December, hopefully, gosh, hopefully, I will have three days off, two to three days off, depending on the week. <laughs> instead of one to two days off depending on the week and then for Christmas time we have like a week off as well so I'm really hoping that having that one day off a week where it's not a weekend I can be more productive and get stuff done instead of feeling like I have to shove everything that I need to do in about a day a day and a half and of course, it being a work day where most people in my household are out, I will have more space. So that's how I am trying to think about it in my head as avoiding future burnout in terms of my environment. In turn, this will also let me utilize my medication to the most that it can or to make it as effective as it can gosh I don't even know the words right now I'm so like bleh <laughs> I'm also learning to let go of being perfect it's very hard because I know I'm not perfect there's a lot of things that I spend a lot of time on that are so unnecessary and just stress me out even more for example like cleaning people's teeth I just don't know what it is but I go over every tooth at least minimum twice and if there's an area with a lot of buildup even though my brain is like it's clean or not my brain even though <laughs> even though I can feel that the tooth is clean my brain is like there is missing calculus you're, you're missing calculus here. You have to keep going over. And the area that I will spend a lot of time on is your lower front teeth because that's where most people have a lot of buildup. And I will just keep going over and over and over again. And if it weren't for the time limit, 
I would keep going. Like there's been times where I look up and I'm like, oh my God, they're supposed to be already out of my chair five minutes ago so that I can bring in the next person. And so with that, as I'm applying it to also other areas is time constraints, like giving myself a time limit and just being like, it is what it is. So even with these YouTube videos, I would love a full production. I would love someone else to edit my videos. I would love someone else to outline them, write me a script, think of the ideas. Um, so I'm not doing all of that on my own, but the reality is I have to. I have to just be realistic and be like, if you want a video out, because my perfectionism is so debilitating sometimes, I just have to be like, it is what it is and just get it out there. And that's why I've always had a problem with consistency, consistency paying off my debt, consistency sticking with the goal, because I put all these stupid expectations on myself and I can never reach them. And so I'm always disappointing myself. And then it just leads to, well, you didn't do it last time what makes you think you're gonna do it this time and blah 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 i definitely think not giving up everything at once is not the solution that people need most people need like not doing anything taking a break blah blah, blah. so i think if you're dealing with burnout you really have to think of the habits that got you there and then changing them creating new goals rules stuff for yourself to make sure that you do not end up back there again. Rest is important, but I also think putting a time limit on that rest is what's also going to help you. Like, for example, I could have recorded this or recorded something yesterday, but I was so tired. It was my sixth day in a row. My back was hurting. I could not keep my eyes open. I tried to stay awake till about like nine o'clock just so that I could go to bed at a normal time and not wake up super early. But I finished work at like 2.30, got home, took a shower, and I just could not keep my eyes open. And I slept for about an hour and then fell back asleep at 10 and then my alarm clock never woke me up. I slept right through it and woke up at like 10.30 the next morning, today, this morning. So obviously my body needed that sleep and anything that I would have tried to have accomplished last night would have just made everything worse. So there is a time and place for rest, but I don't think quitting your job unless it's extremely toxic and you know you can't do it, you know yourself the best, you cannot push through it. If if there's extreme responsibilities relying on you, you can't just give them up. I think just quitting everything or just just to like sleep and not do anything is it's just not going to help. You're going to be back in the same situation that you are in now, aka me. It's exactly what's happening. I just knew the problems of been trying to fix them, but I'm realizing I'm putting too many things on my plate. And instead of giving up on YouTube, which would be like the first thing to cut out of my life because it is an added thing, I am trying to make everything that I want work in my life. It's just going to take a lot longer to get there. And I have to prioritize stuff. So preventing burnout is quite a struggle. I still struggle with it, but every day I'm getting better. Like the fact that I was able to get myself out of bed instead of just saying, who cares? No one cares about my YouTube videos. <laughs> it's fine if I miss a week. I'm only disappointing myself if I, if I did that. But the fact that I was able to get myself out of bed, sit here and turn on the camera and talk to you guys is proof that habits can change you can change and you can get through this burnout. The weather definitely doesn't help, that's for sure. Luckily, it's been nice here in my area, but that can change <laughs> any second. It's been freezing cold. I know I've been extra tired, so instead of putting the pressure of going out for walks and going to the gym, I know I'm tired. I decided to not feel bad about not going to the gym even though I have a gym membership or not going for walks even though I know it would help me just as of right now I'm so tired I cannot think of 
even going out for a walk and how much energy that's gonna like deplete me from just so that I can say I lived up to this expectation of myself or like I'm writing off all the other days of the month that I went for a walk when I didn't want to just because I didn't do my two to three walks a week that I've been doing this one week out of the month that I've just been extra tired. I <sighs> hope that made sense. It's very stupid the way that my brain works. Anyway, <laughs> I am going to edit my video now. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that helped you guys out with figuring out how to deal with your burnout and kind of stop it in its tracks or just create new habits to deal with. And I'll see you next time. Bye.